It's been a while since I've done a Q&A, so I thought to make a video and answer some of the questions that the community had asked over the last couple of months. If you have any questions that you want me to answer, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. With that being said, let's start off with the first question. Is cybersecurity really oversaturated? Do I actually have a chance of landing a job? The answer is yes and no. In my opinion, and from what I've been seeing, is that yes, cybersecurity is really oversaturated, but this is more towards the entry-level roles compared to the more senior and specialized roles. If you're just starting out, you will need to do a lot more compared to five, six years ago, where having an IT job and a cybersecurity certification would be enough to land you a job. Nowadays, you'll need to put in a little bit more effort into networking with others, by attending conferences, joining communities, and or participating in CTFs as a team. You'll need to level up your practical hands-on experience so you can have the confidence in your technical skills and participate in projects. So then you can ultimately speak about them when the time is right. So to answer your question, do I actually have a chance of landing a job? Yes, you do. But it will be a difficult journey ahead. Question number two. Any guided projects you would recommend doing to add on a resume? And is the 30-day challenge going to be available again if we missed it? For those that aren't aware, I do have a 30-day challenge where I walk through how participants can build a mini SOC environment utilizing the ELK stack. And yes, this will be available and on my channel indefinitely. However, the giveaway that I do have for that challenge will be over by the time that you're watching this. As for guided projects, I would highly recommend the Active Directory project and the SOC automation project that is found on my channel, as I am confident that these two will impress quite a few hiring managers. Question number three, when and how did you get your first cybersecurity job? I started my cybersecurity job as a tier one SOC analyst back in 2016. And the main reason as to how I landed that first job is because of my college friend. And this is why I recommend folks who are in the financial position to enroll in a university or college program to not only earn themselves a diploma or a degree, but to also network with others because networking can really open a lot of doors for you. Question number four. As a high school student wanting to pursue cybersecurity, how should I familiarize myself with all the sub levels and how do I choose which will be best for me? Now this right here is a great question and my recommendation is to research what is out there. Look at what domains interest you in cybersecurity and then try to learn as much as you possibly can on that particular domain. Now I can't say for certain what would be the best for you, but one resource that I'll recommend is try Hack Me as they provide a lot of guided walkthroughs and various learning paths to give you a glimpse as to what exists in cybersecurity. Question number five, what is your all-time favorite thing to do that is blue team related? Is it analyzing malware, etc.? I love this question, and my all-time favorite thing is to follow the breadcrumbs and establish a timeline of the activities done by an attacker. I love seeing how they got in, where they went, and what they did. It really amazes me how creative attackers can really be. And by following the breadcrumbs, I as a defender can start to understand how the organization can then better their defenses to reduce the risk of a similar compromise in the future. I absolutely love investigating compromises. Question number six, should I negotiate about my salary with the employer as a fresher as I do have a variety of skills and hands-on practical experience? Now, if you're new to the industry, honestly, I wouldn't negotiate about the salary because you're in the season of learning. The salary that you earn right now is all temporary. And my way of thinking is that, hey, you get paid while you learn, which is a win-win situation in my books. However, if you really want to, you can research what the salary range is in your area for the role that you're applying to, and then mention a number within that range just to be safe. Question number seven, is it possible to get a job with taking the Google certs, then the comp certs and doing your roadmap? For those that aren't aware, I do have two roadmaps available. One is for general cybersecurity and the other is tailored to become a SOC analyst. Now, assuming that you are talking about the SOC roadmap, then yes, it is possible. But how I see it is that the closer you are to finishing the roadmap, the more likely it is to help you land an interview and hopefully a job. Whereas the further you are to completing the roadmap, the less likely it is to get a job or an interview. 
What this means is that I wouldn't start applying for roles until I am at the hands-on slash project phase in the roadmap. The last question for today's video, how are you? Thank you for asking. I unfortunately caught a nasty flu and I've been dealing with a chronic cough that has lasted for more than a month. But I am hopeful that this will go away sometime soon. And on top of this, I'm actually quite burned out, even though I came back from vacation two months ago. I'll be honest, content creation is pretty difficult, especially the technical ones, such as the walkthroughs and projects. But seeing your comments and how many lives that I am changing and affecting makes it all worth it. I'll continue to push through and provide as much quality content as I possibly can. That is it for the video, and seriously, thank you all for your continuous support. Again, if you have any questions that I did not answer, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get to it. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.